What is up, guys? Drew Martin with the Friday MLB rundown for the August 28th card. Got a game here that I'm projecting out the lines because I'll tell you, it's year 2020. As you probably know, global pandemic, uh, everything going on in the U.S., uh, MLB players, NBA players, uh, boycotting or, you know, technically, I guess, striking. Either way, it leaves us with no numbers out as I'm talking to you right now about 11.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I haven't seen a U.S. sports book or an offshore sports book really post any MLB lines. So I'm going to project one out here, guys. Hopefully we get it. Hopefully we can cash it. It's been a good season so far. And it's been a good season fading one of these pitchers here. So hopefully going to keep that rolling. As we got uh, game number 923-924, the L.A. Dodgers versus the Texas Rangers. Dustin Mays pitching for the L.A. Dodgers. We got Mike Miner projected to pitch here for the Texas Rangers. Mike Miner, the lefty, he's a guy that used to throw 95, 96 miles per hour. Now he's only throwing 90, 91 miles per hour, and it's just not working for him. Looking to fade him down here, down the stretch. I'm not sure how many MLB starts he's going to have left, but uh, hopefully we can make some money down the stretch. He's given up four earned runs or more in his last five starts. Uh, over a 6 ERA for the season, over a 5 FIP for the season, and he's going up against the LA Dodgers, who in my opinion are one of the best teams in baseball. You can make the argument they're the best team in baseball, and they got a really good pitcher on the hill. Dustin May, a young guy, a righty, he throws really hard, 96, 97 miles per hour. He hasn't given up more than two earned runs in any start this year, so he's been really consistent. And keep in mind, the LA Dodgers have the number one bullpen, at least by my ratings, in MLB. So a good starting pitcher backed up by a really good bullpen here, going up against one of the worst lineups in baseball, one of the three worst lineups by my numbers in MLB. So projecting out this line, guys, it is a, kind of a tricky handicap in itself, being that the, the LA Dodgers just played a doubleheader. And they're now going um, on the road here to, or at least having to make the trip here to Texas. So it's kind of a tough spot. But just the pitching matchup itself, I think, favors the L.A. Dodgers so much that I like it. But given the spot, we might be able to find the Dodgers' money line, you know, minus 210, minus 220, maybe minus 200. And that would project to about a run line minus 135, minus 140. So if we get the Dodgers here on the run line, which means you have to give the, the run and a half, they are the away team though, so I still like I still like this bet. Wouldn't, wouldn't do it as much if they were the home team. But LA Dodgers minus one and a half, minus 135. If we get that number, I like it. I actually like it up to minus 140, guys. So that's what I'm going to be on personally. Hopefully we get this number. It's really tough to kind of project out these lines with everything going on. But, uh, hey, guys, if we get it, that's what I'm going to be on here. The L.A. Dodgers on the run line. Best of luck if you're tailing. Huge shout-out to OddsChecker.com for making these videos happen. Be safe out there, guys, and uh, we'll talk for the Sunday MLB rundown as well. Be well.